Right, so a first video up that was released this week was the birthday yarn surprise yarn unbagging. Now that of course was the yarn that my husband had ordered for me for my birthday. If you haven't had a chance, go and have a, no have a nose. Um, he did really well. He um, picked colours that I wouldn't have normally gone for. <laughs> Some of the shades do need sunglasses, so there's your warning. <laughs> right, and then um, on Tuesday it was of course a Magsa Koala C2C Blanket video number two release so that any of you that have made it to the end of video one now have the information for video two. Now please remember in video one I mucked up okay I'd um, recorded recorded it with the um, white section the wrong way round. At the end of that video um, before the box counts for row 20 it does explain how to fix it it was me putting my stitch markers in the wrong way now as long as your work has stayed tidy on both sides it's not an issue you can just rotate it over and pull it pull through your um, ends and just pull them through to the other side and then sew them in at the end of the video when I tell you to basically <laughs> um, so that is the issue with video number one now extra information is also in the drop down box of each of these videos so if any of you gorgeous gorgeous crazies that are working along have noticed any faults with the video at all or any faults with the pattern as you're working please do me a favour stick it in the drop down box and then I will answer your questions help fix the issues and put the information into the drop down box for everybody else to read before they get to that row <laughs> okay so it's just sort of help each other out here a little bit really right and then of course i introduced the stars hollow crochet cardigan which is a gorgeous gorgeous pattern by reggie at j hook crochet here is the back of it here if you haven't had a chance to see that video and want to see what the front looks like click the link that's just up here <laughs> right then on Thursday it was a case of oh I've got a book here we go it's inside crochet issue 138 um, and then on Friday of course we had our throwback Fridays and also uh, during the week we had our two lives and uh, one was on Tuesday evening and the other one was Wednesday midday for the UK um, I did midday because I had a couple of bits I had to do beforehand um, and I quite liked it because there was a few more crazies that were able to make it because they were not in bed asleep <laughs> um, or just about to leg it to bed or stuck at work so um, I might keep to that time for a couple of weeks to see how we go um, and maybe even up it by an hour depending on how it's take how you guys are like it over the next month or so right um the time that is right and that was it for this week crikey that was a lot of videos i'm sorry i've hounded you basically this week don't worry next week's not gonna be as bad oh and we also had the birthday live on Saturday. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot to mention that. I am actually recording this on Friday just beforehand, but I'm really am assuming that loads of you joined, um, joined in on Saturday, and loads of you won some absolutely cool prizes. But at the moment, I don't know how it went, so I'm keeping everything crossed. You guys all know how it went, so now you're giggling at me. <laughs>
Right, so our Hilda has also sent me some extra information um, in the next email that will hopefully help you guys out if you're copying it and you're in another country. Now, um, oh, where? Well, let me see. Right, so she used the recommended hook size, which is a five millimeter, and the yarn that she got was from Zeman. She says she's looking forward to the way that I pronounce that. <laughs> But not being mean, she finds it adorable. Because, of course, anyone who has watched the lives knows that I always get her name wrong. There's about four or five different pronunciations for it. And I'm trying my utmost to get the right one. But I can never remember from one day to the next which name is the right name. So I've stuck it all to the same name today. And if it's wrong again, honey, tell me. And I'll try again next time. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get it right. Um... Right, so her main message reads um, that my tutorials are amazing and that she she um, was it? she loves how I just tell it how it is. Of course, I, I can't be doing with all the extra padding and not on a tutorial. That drives me insane. <laughs> so you don't get it. Um, and she says she laughed her head off that I made a round pillow out of a square one. Well, I was in lockdown, girl. What do you expect? <laughs> Got no pillow insert. Need it. Nick it from the one out the lounge. <laughs> so she's also saying that there's no no pillow is safe from me. Yeah, pretty much. Um, right, so then, then she comes in and says um, the, she used the hook size that was recommended, a 5mm hook. Um, all the... the la, 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 la. All the yarn that she used is from Zeman. Sorry, I look forward to your pronunciation of that. Not being mean, but I find it adorable. <laughs> because, of course, I can never get a name right. Bless. Um, she follows that up with, same thing with my name. Always a surprise how you're going to say it. I've got, what, four, maybe five different versions of how I say Hilda's name. It's either Hilda, Hildy, Heidi. And I can't even remember the fourth and the fifth. They just fly out of my mouth <laughs> completely the wrong time. So, Hilda, <laughs> hopefully I've got it right today, also states um, that she makes it human and that's what matters. Um, I'm really happy that you like her. So, uh, thank you ever so much for that extra information. As I said, I will pop it on the uh, video, or on the image as well. Right, so as some of you may know or may not know, a Craig, that cheeky chappy from Universe, who makes the little pins that we're all going absolutely crazy for at the moment, the fantastic items, he only lives about five miles up the road from me. Now, I haven't had a chance to uh, contact him and ask to borrow any items again this month, although I have done that in previous months. Now, He's got a new design out for Halloween and is available now on limited supply. So if you like it, go grab it. I will stick all the links to his site and everything and down below. But the reason I'm saying this is that I was on Instagram last week and he put a picture up of his a new one and asked everybody for names. So of course there I am sitting there in a very sarcastic mood and finally, finally managed to write a name that actually resembled something that he may use. And it was the Bar Witch. Okay, so yesterday I've popped on to Instagram, yesterday being Tuesday, I popped on to Instagram to find that he'd finally named his new pin. And it's the Bar Witched missed out two letters Craig two letters but to be honest I love I love it I think it's really really cute and the name's pretty nifty as well and then uh, whilst I was flicking through checking it all um my name had been mentioned on another channel and so of course I've clicked through to that channel 
to see what what they were talking about because I'm nosy like that so I clicked the link and it took me through to a post that I'd commented on for a competition to win a book from Inside Crochet that's right an actual book not the magazine but a book of Aragurumi so I was in shock because I've only gone and won it I have I've won it so um what I've I've done what they asked which is send the address and now I'm just going to be sitting here twiddling my thumbs and waiting for the package to turn up keep everything crossed um I've never won anything on insta and instagram does um I'm, as I said, I'm not really used to it, so I've entered competitions left, right and centre and then I gave up and I was like, well, I always check them to see whether they're open worldwide and quite a lot of them are not open worldwide, so that's a knockoff anyway. Um, but this one, of course, because the magazine is in the UK, it was open to me, so that's why I entered it. And the patterns are so cute. So that was my two bits of good news for Tuesday, but there was actually a third. I got stuck doing the food shop as normal. And while I was there, I used some of my birthday pennies from my mum. I'll explain. I've spent a lot of my birthday pennies, but I've definitely got value for money this year round. Just like I did last year with all of those books that I bought from the works. I will stick a link up here so you can see how many books I managed to get for 50 quid. Because that's all right. My mum just sends me a um, sends me £50 for my birthday or £50 for Christmas I end up sending her something to the same value anyway because that's just how our family is it's 50 quid it gives you a chance to either buy something you really really like or you really really want so of course this year mum sent me 50 for my birthday it's been sitting in its card on the side here for over a month a month I had to hold out because I, of course I had my uh, it was my sister's a wedding on Wednesday this week which I didn't manage to go to but I'll explain that in a bit um but my mum didn't want to forget anything because of course with wedding arrangements and things like that everything is a mad dash rush so she sent it out to me at the beginning of July it arrived so it's been sitting here all of July and a bit of August so of course I've opened it on my birthday and I've got my 50 quid so I ran over to Secret Yarn Stash um, and I placed a humongous order now for me I'm purchasing from a Secret Yarn Stash I love doing it the prices are so so reasonable um, and at the moment I can get solid colours like the ones behind like hubby bought at £1.20 for 100 grams you can't go wrong for £1.20 and this, it works out beautifully it holds its colour in the wash and all the stuff that we want from a yarn so I went over there and I have ordered every single colour in the DK range hold on I'm gonna have to do it uh, let me think I'll pick up the light one because otherwise it'll blow the camera out Um, so I've picked up every single colour of the pato um signet pato everyday dk that she had and i've shoved some more in as well um some other brands that I've, I've been eyeing up so there i am i've put this order through i've asked for the affiliate link points as well so i've also rounded it up or well not rounded it up rounded it down and left the leftovers in the affiliate link pack um sorry not pack the account so there is also a red and black yarn coming to me as well for the poppies from you guys spending money on her site um so this order is coming in two that's right two massive bags so hopefully at some point this week coming i'll be able to show you those um so be warned it's gonna be a big <laughs> yarn shop well of course i've I've um, used the affiliate points for the poppy yarn and then I've got my £50 from my mum and then I have my birthday code which I did feel really cheeky about using um, but in my head it's going towards the shipping now <laughs> because um, I'm paying uh, of course we're paying for shipping with our order so in my head it's just free shipping I hope Louisa understands she did say she did <laughs> right so my order came in at less than the 50 quid so I popped two hours to do the food shop on Tuesday 
and they've only gone and got tie-dye kits now I'm thinking I read the back and it says it is suitable for cotton linen viscose fabrics polyester cotton blends wool and silk so basically that should mean that I'm able to use the dye not on a t-shirt but actually on yarn so I'm going to do it, I'm going to create an absolute mess in my kitchen. I'm going to have to really cover everything very, very carefully. Or maybe shove it in a bucket and hope and see. Um, yeah, so at some point later on in the month or maybe next month, I'm going to dye some of that really that, that yarn I got from Aldi where I bought loads and loads. It's because I know I've still got some plain colours left. And let's see what that turns up like. It's neon, so it's going to be a hot mess <laughs> an absolute hot mess now i'm not sure about this one um whether i showed it to you last week or not sorry i <laughs> just made myself a cup of coffee oh as a cheeky birthday gift hubby brought me this cup i've got to be really careful because it's got coffee in it <laughs> he knows me so well and also a, a glass coaster that says the same thing and so i've got somewhere to pick my coffee on my table so i don't cover the, the table in coffee rings now i've got my coaster so of course hubby brought me that and gave that to me on a friday morning and then on saturday our, uh, my bestie came around and um, she brought me a little gift now we don't normally do gifts as such we normally try and spend time because we she lives over in Wales and I live in the UK so we normally spend time and we make time for each other around each other's birthdays so because the birthday party <laughs> never happened hubby was trying to arrange a surprise but left it too late and um, our normal gang couldn't make it because they had work and other bits of work and what was it one was two of them had work Another one was actually on holiday, <laughs> which is quite normal considering when my birthday is. Everybody's on holiday or at work. So um, the uh, surprise birthday barbecue didn't happen, which was quite lucky because it was pelting it down for most of the day with rain. So a uh, bestie turns up holding a, a little package. Now she turned around and said, I remember you. I remember me showing you this item a couple of years ago and you said how cute it was so I bought it and I was like oh bless thank you ever so much so I've opened it she's only gone and got me another cup a coffee mug how cute is that it is um shaped as a ball and it says I like big balls and I cannot lie <laughs> yes she is as warped as me um so she said to me I know you've already got one because you showed me the one that hubby bought you yesterday she goes but you can always put it on your table and hold hooks with it well i'd rather not put hot coffee in it because it's just too cute and it, the inside's a bit wibbly wobbly so it'll be a right pain in the posterior to clean i don't know about hooks though but i'll think of something it will go it will go on my table and it will be used for non-sharp objects and stuff that can't chip it Right, so I'm going to pop that back in the box. But thank you ever so much, Bestie. There we go. Right, so now for a little bit of pants news. Um, on Friday, I rewrote up um, Accident Prone Elephant. And of course, I was rewriting it up and adding some border suggestions to it because I like to add border suggestions um, to a pattern if I plan to sell it that's right I put it up on Ravelry because I had had some of my gorgeous crazies hounding me for the for the pattern if you don't know what the term hounding is it just means that you're nudging me as nice as possible going let me buy it let me buy it let me buy it <laughs> so anyway I wrote it all up I put it up on Ravelry I advertised it on the Facebook page advertised it on on um, YouTube about an hour after it had gone live luckily there have been no sales um i got a message from ravelry saying that they were going to be taking it down
because it's breaking copyright infringement, which I had a feeling it would be. Okay, and it wasn't down to um and what had happened was they had had a nose through the pattern because there wasn't any photos attached to it really. So they had a nose through the pattern, of course in the pattern it had a picture of the photo um of um our elephant and it also has the box counts so you can create the the pattern but it says because of that i was baking copyright infringement because it's such a well-known um image i've got to be careful how i word it I'm like, <laughs> so i'm sorry to say it is still going to be a, a winners only pattern but i don't want to upset ravelry because they've been good to me so far right on to some other cool news Right, so now on to my whips. I do have some, I have quite a few, but two that I'm mentioning this week, of course, is as normal, the poppies. I haven't picked them up this week. There you go, I'm completely blunt and honest. I haven't picked them up because I can't be bothered to sign in. <laughs> but I will get back to them, don't panic. They'll probably, I'll probably be hitting them Sunday when this video is going out because hopefully by then I will have um, the project finished that I'm working on for Big Sis. Okay, sorry, Big Sis is another one of my best mates and I call her Big Sis because she's older than me. <laughs> it's that simple, she's older than me. So Big Sis set me to task a couple of weeks back, um, as I told you on um, one of the previous whips and bits. Right, so she chose um, two yarns from my So Crafty double knit yarn stash, the one that I'm trying to work through and use up. And one of the colours was mint green and the other one was plum. And she set me to task to make a top. And here it is so far. <laughs> um, with this top, there is no a pattern. Okay, um, I came across an image on Facebook and the lady that posted it had made this top for herself and she she hasn't written up the pattern um and i don't think she intends to either but she wanted to show off her work and to be honest it was gorgeous it was made in cotton so it's not going to look exactly the same as this her one looked better but that's my opinion <laughs> um but um she gave me the basic a pattern right um the pattern repeat and the rest of it i've just run with so as it stands at the moment, this is quite large actually, it's quite long as well. That's because I'm making it for Bestie and she's like me, she likes covering up. <laughs> so as it stands at the moment, we've got the front and the back done and some pattern repeats. And the back only needs another two and a half repeats at the bottom. Now this actually sits, um, when I put it on, because I put it on last night to test it, like the length it sits um how would i put it longer than what it would my school skirt would have been <laughs> so sort of hard, between my my knees and my bum basically so it's gonna cover everything that we want it to cover um i've still got as i said i've still got another two repeats left to go to make the front and the back the same length then it's a case of uh, working on the sides and the arms and stuff like that so hopefully another evening's work on that and i'll have that one all done and dusted too but that's my whip so you'll have to wait till next week to see what it looks like i might have to um put it on and take some photos before i pop it in the wash and then dry it and send it over to her right so that is the whip this is it would be completed if i had pom-poms for it Okay, so next one up was I was uh, working with the Alzea, uh, sorry, the Baby Baltic Alzea Spectrum Yarn that I had up on my, my side. I'm trying to get my way, work my way through all these. <laughs> um, now, I'm not keen because of the way the uh, colours work up. Now, I'm very much one for solid colours throughout. And if you're going to have colour changes, a solid, you don't have enough to make one stitch in one colour here and a half a mile up the project there's the rest of the colour I can't deal with it it's just too moon so I'd tried making a couple of different projects um I'll pop in a picture a couple of pictures that I took of the projects before I written them out <laughs> and I'll add them in here now
so as you can see they were a bit um color here a bit of color here and a bit of color there which if anyone's got ocd it's gonna drive you mad and i know it drives me mad so i shoved it through my knitting machine basically and i just fired off a nice long sock sewed the ends together and now i'm waiting on ordering because i haven't done it yet ordering a couple of pom-poms to go on the ends of it so i've got a nice decent long double thickness scarf whether it be for me or a kid it's probably going to be a kid because of the length of it really um there you go that's it and that is how the colorway are worked up for me on the centro knitting machine okay um let's turn that one around so you can see it on the other side as well so it didn't work up too badly but as i said i'm not one for the mix match on the rows and it was more pronounced in the crochet than what it is in the knitting so that was it for my finished objects bar one i've got a finished um test project but i have to wait until it's released so i can't show you yet although it's sitting by the side here and it's a new stuffy and it's making me smile it's got a really cheeky face and a really cheeky pattern and there's a gorgeous um there's a bit of a funny story that goes along with it but you're gonna have to wait to hear that no, once i'm allowed to show you the finished object and talk about the pattern right so why didn't i manage to get to my sister's wedding um a couple of weeks prior to her wedding um it came through the family tree phone call system <laughs> that my um eldest nephew had co tested positive for covid now he was staying at his dad's at the time and i haven't got the full facts okay i'll just put it like that i haven't got the full facts all i know is that his father had said he was tested positive for covid and they had um restricted his movement around the house so he was now in his bedroom with his xbox um and his phone and he was getting food delivered to the door and they were banging and running away all right so he stayed there an extra few days and his brothers also got tested and they were clear well of course this is my sister's son and so of course i was a very very dubious and because we have to travel three and a half hours to get there we needed to book our hotel room well by the time we were told that he was clear of it and he'd never had it in the first place it was too late to book our hotel room so we were unable to go down and stay over and that length of traveling in the car for both myself and my husband at this moment in time is too much for us to take on because of course we'd have to travel there and travel back all in the one day so for us it what we were not able to make it pants well there was a positive side to the story though and my eldest jumped the train jumped on the train and as she headed down there got to stay over at nan and granddad's and um got to attend the wedding she had an absolutely lovely time photographs have already been sent over so i got to see what my sister's dress looked like she looks stunning and she made the dress look even better and um, the service itself looked absolutely lovely and everybody appears to have had a lovely safe time so uh, congratulations to my sis and of course my new bro and a welcome to the family a little miss and little mister yay a new niece and a new nephew how cool right so that's it for me for today i think i've talked your ear off long enough I will see you all a really, really soon, so if you can, please stay in and definitely stay safe. To Ralph for now, everybody.